Interestingly, so you'll see another one just coming into view here now. Um, if I pan up, so this is looking upslope, there's actually a whole field of them. Uh, and wow, these are exactly like Darlene was saying. All of these seem to actually have little stubs of emery algae uh, going out of them. And so, for example, if I zoom in on, there's a really nice one over here. You can see this guy. He totally has various little ones over to the right, a uh, little stuff growing on them. But basically, all of them are like that. So I'm just going to go a little bit up the slope. The slope is 40 degrees. Um, these I would call uh, Tarit, probably. Um, I'm not sure I've seen anything like this in Pavilion Lake, actually, where the algae was so obvious in terms of um, growing out of the microbialites. I mean, we had definitely seen some uh, uh, emery algae coming out of the microbialites, but I'm not sure we had seen it uh, so much of it. Um, so this is interesting. There's a little bit of cara in between. Um, they are, so these guys are smaller. I would say they're maybe about 10 centimeters across at this spot. Um, they're pretty nice. I guess I would sample these if I uh, had a chance. Very cool. Nice little guys. Yeah, I, I would say they're, they're quite different from Pavilion. Um, Oh, cool. Um, and let me go up and see how far up they go. Um, so the mound shape, I would guess, is actually almost Tarit for a lot of them, uh, or maybe nodular, but maybe Tarit is actually a good description for the mound shape for a lot of these. Uh, and as I pan up, we're still at 46 feet depth, but they actually seem to be petering out. The top side of them is cover 